I'd like to welcome you to Biopsychology. I am Professor Lynn Weber and I will be the instructor for this course. In this short video, I would like to just demonstrate some of the features that are in this particular online course to help you navigate through the course if you haven't taken an online course before or if you haven't seen one in this particular format. What you see here is our course homepage. And so what you'll see here is a news feature. And this is where you're going to get announcements. If I'm going to change the due date for something or extend a due date for something, uh, this is going to be where you're going to see that information. Little welcome thing. And also information uh, on my Lab. You'll see a calendar function. This will let you know when things are coming up due or when uh, new chapters are open and available. And that should help you be able to um, balance your time as you work through the course. The other aspect is the content browser. This is the content of the course. And so this is where you're going to go to find information for each of the chapters that we're going to cover. There's a getting started module that you should take a look at. And um, again, if we go to one of the weekly modules, you can click to the content and start working through the materials for each of those chapters that we're going to cover. The content can also be accessed from the content tab on the navigation bar at the top of the page. So if we click here and go to content, then you'll see a list of the table of contents. And if you wanted to, you could jump down to a different week. And then you could see all of the components uh, that you're going to need to take a look at for that particular chapter. Under the Assessments tab, you'll see a couple of different options. The first one is the Dropbox option. This is going to be where you submit your papers for the course. There are three Dropboxes currently. Uh, there are uh, links to the Dropboxes in each of the chapters. Uh, that correspond with the dates when these assignments are also due. So you can often access many of these aspects from different places. There's some redundancy in the course. But if you ever get confused, if you go up to assessments, you can access it from there. You can also uh, check your grades for the course. And so this is useful to students because then they can see what their grade is at any time in the course and not just at midterms and finals. There's also the assessments for quizzes click on that tab and you can access the quizzes here. There are links to each of the quizzes in each of the chapters as well. And here is a link to the rubric or the grading guidelines that we will use for our reading reactions that we will use to stimulate discussion for our chapter discussions. If we move over to the communications tab, there's a lot of uh, things in this particular list. The main one here is going to be our discussions. And here you can link to any of the discussions very quickly for the different chapter discussions. Again, the chapter discussions are linked in each of the chapter modules. You may also want to utilize email to contact other students in the group uh, or in the class or to contact me as well. And lastly, we'll click over to the resources chap uh, tab. We've got the calendar. There's a link for the library. This is handy because you will need to utilize the online hack library uh, for your paper for this course. And that'll link you right to that. And you can also link to the Smart Thinking Tutoring uh, so that you can get uh, help with some of, uh, some of the courses. There may not be a exact course in biopsychology for the tutoring, but if you need some help with biology or other psychology courses, the tutoring can be quite helpful for that. We'll go back to the uh, course homepage. And so hopefully 
this little introduction to the course has been helpful to you to highlight some of the different aspects of the course and some of the different tools that are available to you to help you navigate this course and learn the course material. Please feel free to contact me via email and uh, I hope that you enjoy this course in biopsychology.